Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you in QuickBooks how to run an AR aging report. I'm also going to show you how to modify the terms of invoices so that you can get paid faster. And if you want more tips about how to get paid faster, make sure to check out my last video where I talked about three ways that you can get paid faster, but also just the basics of the AR aging report. Also, I'll be sharing in this video how to send a payment reminder. So if you send an invoice to a client and you see that they viewed it, but they haven't paid it yet, you can send a friendly reminder to them. And I'm going to show you all of that in this video. All right, let's get on to the tutorial. All right, so now I'm going to show you first how to run an aging report. The first thing you do is go to reports, and then if it's not already saved in your favorites, like it is in this sample company here, then you can simply type in AR, and it will pull up the accounts receivable aging summary. Or you can simply scroll down to who owes you, and there is an accounts receivable aging detail and accounts receivable aging summary. And if you haven't watched my other video that gives an overview of this report, make sure to check that out because I go over the basics of the report. Um, as I described in that video, there are different columns. And so there's the current column here, and these are the invoices that aren't past due. And then these are the aging buckets. So you have one to 30 days, which is it's past due one to 30 days, 31 to 60, 61 to 90, and 91 and over. Now this report is based on the date that you run it. So let's say, for example, right now in the current column, it's about $3,800. If I change this date to, let's just say, this month, so the end of the month, and I run it, boom, everything's been moved forward. Now there is nothing in the current column, meaning that all of these invoices are due before March 31st. And so that's why they're starting to age. If I wanted to say, okay, what are all the invoices due through last month? And so now this is backing up the date to February 28th, and I run the report. Now we can see that most of these invoices have moved back to the current column. So what this is saying is that most of the invoices for the sample company are due after February 28th. So as of February 28th, these invoices are still current. They're not past due yet. So this means that if you're the owner of this company, then you've sent the invoice to the customer. You are awaiting payment, but it's not considered past due just yet. And again, that's just based off of the date that you run the report. Let's take a look at the AR aging detail report and I'll show you how this is different from the summary. So as you can see, the detail report is showing way more detail. It's showing the invoice number, the customer, it's showing the different days that it's past due. And the great thing about this report is if you really wanted to drill into the details and know, okay, these are all of the invoices that I want to follow up on, then you know exactly where to go and you can just press any of these links and it'll take you right to the invoice. So let's go to the invoice and I will show you how to modify the terms of the invoice. Now this is a sample company so I can't really make many changes but I at least can show you how to change the terms. So say that you are sending an invoice and maybe you wanted to change the terms, you can just click this down arrow here and it'll give you different terms. You can do net 10, which means that as of the invoice date, they have 10 days to pay it or it's considered past due. You can do net 15, same deal, 15 days to pay it or it's considered past due afterwards, net 30 or net 60. Or you can add your own term and you can just do a fixed number of days, 
So it's really up to you how you want to do this. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to send an invoice reminder. So this was one of the tips that I gave if you want to get your invoices paid faster. The first thing you'll do is go to sales and then invoices and this will give you a list of all the invoices that you've sent already and if you want to just go to an invoice you don't even have to click inside of the invoice you can just click this arrow right here and then it says send reminder so it's really easy to do that if they are past due when you send a reminder it will have a pre-written message which you can totally edit if you want it to and then in this screen which you can't see because it is a sample company it'll have your company logo if you have that loaded into QuickBooks and it'll have uh, a preview of what the email message will look like and so as you're making changes to the body it will reflect in the preview screen and when you're ready to send that reminder then you can do that and the wonderful upgrade that they've done recently is that you can send yourself a copy and so then that way you get the reminder as well in your inbox and you can confirm that it's been sent to your customer so that is it you guys I hope that this video has been helpful give me a thumbs up if you think it was and I'll see you in the next video bye